Aquarius family, welcome to your August. Um, I wasn't going to do this reading today, but I heard Spirit say really loudly to do this reading after I was just sitting here listening to something, shuffling this deck. I was just shuffling and shuffling and shuffling uh, as I was listening to something else. And then I put the deck down. And then I looked at the bottom of the deck and I saw walking away. I was like, oh, okay, nice. Let's see what's under that. I saw what's under that. And then I saw what was under that. And then I saw what was under that. And then I said, oh, I see. I see. And then I heard spirits say, uh, do the August reading for Aquarius. So here we are. Um, the message was very beautiful here that I received. Uh, I mean, clearly somebody, you have somebody, somebody, you have someone's heart. Okay. So somebody here is very much in their feelings about you feeling out in the cold, getting ready to close out some kind of cycle because they are, have been thinking a lot about, they have been lying about how they feel. They are in love with you. Okay. They have been thinking really long and hard here about how much they value you and appreciate you, how much they want to show you, how much they appreciate you. Uh, this is a whole new world for this person here. Right now, they're feeling a little empty, a little out in the cold, right? Um, and then, you know, you got someone's heart here. And then I'm like, you're getting some, this, I said, this reef of victory is very gold. It's very beautiful. That's what came to me. It's very beautiful. Some kind of victory here, okay, uh, regarding a situation. It's like, listen to your intuition. Your intuition here is really strong. Um, I also got with this victory, also surrounding your work and your career, uh, tunnel vision. Hold the vision, hold the focus. Hold the vision, hold the focus, Aquarius. Um, I saw the six, I saw um, the six of cups, the six uh, the queen of wands, the seven of pentacles, uh, the, the six of wands and, and another card, uh, all of them saying, oh, the seven of wands, all of them saying to stay determined to hold the course, what you planted in the past, six of cups is coming to fruition, seven of pentacles, uh, queen of wands continue to take action. Okay. To nurture, continue to walk in confidence and hold your vision. Uh, to nurture whatever the seeds that you planted that are growing. You are receiving a victory and a lot of success. Um, it does take time, right, for a tree to mature and grow into a beautiful tree. But it's like now it's sprouting. Um, so keep going, as was the message for this victory card. So it looks like you're going to get a victory in a lot of areas of your life. Someone here that is holding their heart in their hand for you, okay? And... Uh, and then we have the goddess of the moon. Your intuition is on point. It feels like there is a walking away, okay? But it feels like, as you can see, she's looking back. She's looking back, which means her intuition, there's a pull, okay? Um, you feel something coming is what I'm getting here. And as, as you are walking away, uh, you feel something right there, right? Right behind you, like you feel it. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to see if it's going to come out again. But there's a lot of things you are walking away from. You could be leaving an old job. You could be leaving old group of people behind. You could be venturing to go travel out in the world. It could be moving abroad. It could be a lot of things that you're being guided intuitively to walk away from at this time. What's not serving you, right? So let's get started. Um, so yeah, let's have fun here. Let's just fair. So let's have fun. What's, what's up for, and you know, Leo season is our, Leo's our opposite sign. It's our opposing sign. Leo tends to, you know, focus on the self and Aquarius, uh, energy focus on the group community, right? Collective, it's a collective energy. So there's something to learn about learning to retreat Something to learn about Leo energy. There's always something to learn about our opposite sign. And right now, while we're in Leo season, we are posing, right? So, you know, that's when I see this walking away card. There's something to it, to this self energy. Selfless realization, I just heard. The self. Focusing on the self. It's not selfish to have self-love, you know? And um, so 
A lot, also your confidence could be increasing in August during Leo season, your creative expression. So, okay. Also, I wanna, I wanna point out, man holding a coin here. So success, success, financial security. This could be somebody you're working with or you. Um, I wanna just point out that there, a reminder um, that when I channel messages, what comes through is what comes through. Intuitively, what I feel, what I sense, what I hear from the angel. So just remember that whatever you perceive on your end, it's what's going on pretty much within you. I don't believe there's a good or bad or right or wrong. Um, every trigger has a message for you. Um, you know, there's no such thing as right or wrong, okay, or even good or bad. Every choice we make expands our understanding of life and love. So, um, what you perceive is a message for you, uh, you know, and, and that's what, how well, I'm just going to leave it right there. So, uh, just again, as I always say, please take only what resonates and leave the rest for others. Um, this is a general reading cross watchers that could be in your energy and speaking directly to you and perception is everything. As I just said. So again, uh, don't try to make it fit. If it's not yours, it's not yours. You don't have to take a message that you don't like or you don't want to claim or you don't want to hear it or you don't feel it resonates with you, okay? Um, claim what you want to claim. Let go of what you don't want to let, you know, what you don't want to claim. <laughs> Leave it for whoever wants it. Um, but again, Aquarius energy is the kind of energy that ruffles feathers, <laughs> you know, we, we are a very triggering sign because we see deeply into people, deeply into situations, and we read energy really well outside of the fact that we unlocked all of our gifts and we are, have these superhuman abilities at, at, at higher than it's ever been, right? Um, even before that, right? You've always read energy really well. You can read a room, you can read people. You can see, uh, you know, you can see through situations you can see deeply into people so you know it's important that you uh use those gifts that you have um a lot of times i don't know why i heard spirits say move in silence right also you know it's part of the aquarian strategy kind of energy when it comes to your vision and your goals for yourself going back to that leo energy of the self you know, and, um, you're going to trigger people. That's part of, because we see so, so deeply into people. A lot of times we reveal things, just our energy sometimes alone that sometimes people are just not ready to hear. Okay. Or they won't like it or they don't, you know, or they're in denial or, uh, not quite awakened or aware to, to a shadow or to something that you just revealed or triggered or mirrored back to them. So, um, don't, you know, you're in a really good place where you're just not taking a lot of things personally at this time, because you know that every single time somebody, uh, projects or misunderstands or perceives things from what, from however way is going on within them, that's, a them issue. That's a them thing, right? That doesn't have anything to do with you. Uh, we have journey here at the bottom of the deck. You're on this really beautiful journey. Wow. The journey of the heart. I heard, look at this being guided on this journey, being guided towards, well, there's the man holding a heart again, can make the stuff up being guided towards a good balance in your life. The angel of balance is here. The temple path, these are your angels and your spirit guides. So we have journey, patience, and caring connections. Uh, yeah, caring connections. It's been quite the journey, right, to get to this beautiful, harmonious, compatible hearts that speak the same language to people that deeply care about each other and it's mutual, and to people wanting to love on each other and give to each other in equal reciprocity, right? You've been patient. I'd rather wait long than marry long and the marry wrong. Wait, I'd rather wait long than marry wrong is, is what spirit said. Been patient. It's been a long journey, <laughs> you know, to get to here, but look, it's here. Look at that. 
you're following your guidance, you're following your intuition and ooh, holy, the happy family right under man and woman holding a heart here. The destination, look at that. And it's so abundant. This is, wow. Then I say in another reading, you're getting it all. Here it is again. Here it is again. Woman holding a coin, heart being opened and healed. Then I say strategy, tell no one about your, this, anything here. Okay. That's going on with you personally. What you're mad. Look at what you're manifesting. A happy family, blossoming abundance, door to value, angel of love, your match. Okay. Your match. Two, two people that hearts that speak the same language. And this is the guidance. And if this, this connection, this love, this relationship is going to bring in so much balance into your life. This is your 10 of cups. This is your 10 of pentacles here. And, and in between that, we have abundance, blossoming abundance. Okay. That's because you healed your heart and you're moving with strategy. Yes. But you're also moving with a pure heart with this Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is keeping you safe by guiding you to ground yourself. Woman holding a coin here. Yeah, listen, Aquarius, I just heard spirits say it's safe for you. <clears throat> Throat chakra. It's safe for you to be powerful right now. Okay. It's safe for you to be powerful. Um, you don't have to worry about what people are, you know, what people, we got two fours, what people are going to say, you know, any of that. Right. So, um, this is quite the spread here. Okay. This right here is the journey towards this caring connection. We have Aquarius here healing the heart. We have this beautiful angel of love, door to value. This is everything here. Everything. We just finished talking about this in another reading. This is all of it. This is this journey that you've been on to, towards true love, towards your match. Okay? And you've been patient because love is patient and love is kind. If this journey did anything, this, this journey here, where is the journey card? Did anything here, what it did, Aquarius, I'm going to do more August readings. I was just really strongly guided because I was just sitting here listening to something, shuffling this deck. And those cards were at the bottom of the deck. And I said, well, woo, talk to the spirit said, talk to Aquarius about this. Talk to Aquarius about this. There it said, um, it's been such a long, if this journey taught you anything, one of the most important spiritual lessons that you learn was patience. Because it is worth the wait, right? <laughs> it is worth the, for this, for the right partner for you, that's going to add to your life, bring balance. Where's that balance card? It's going to bring, where did, oh, right here. That's going to bring balance into your life. The angel of balance is here to help you to balance out spirituality and practicality. Yes. So you're being strongly guided by your intuition on a soul level here, the path. The temple path, you being guided by your angels towards coming into more harmony and balance within yourself. Um, I'm going to pull you some guidance from this, this deck as well when it comes to love. Because it looks like love, finances, and money is at the forefront here of uh, August and ongoing. Okay? Again, this the nurturing, right? The slow and steady. We talked about that in another reading, how that's the Saturn way. That's the Saturn way. You healed your, your heart. You opened up, you aligned with the vibration of abundance. You align with the vibration of abundance, which is the vibration of love. An open heart is an abundant, is an abundant heart. Okay. And, uh, and look now you're on the same page with somebody here. You have somebody, ha you activated somebody's soul and heart and they activated yours. You guys opened each other's hearts. Okay. You've been healing for a long time and now you're ready to, you know, um, now you're ready for, to love again. And, uh, and, and here is the, the happily ever after your happily ever after is here. Okay. Uh, this isn't too good to be true. You do deserve this. So claim it in the below box, uh, with, with an emoji or, <laughs> or, or, or I claim, right. Uh, because this is it all that we talked about in the other reading, right? Your dream with the door flying open, the money path here, the path, the temple path that you're taking, 
towards your prosperity, your generational wealth, your abundance, the, with the money flying right open here. You are aligned with your value. You are aligned with your worthiness, with your deserving. And you have, I don't know, you know, you could be doing uh, affirmations, you know, or just living an abundant life, right? Already living as if you already have everything. It's like you cracked the code. You got the, yes, the healing. The one of the, I always say, uh, one of the major keys to manifesting is do, doing the actual healing work, right? <laughs> healing from within, because as within, so without, as above, so below. So you have this, uh, I am going to maybe clarify a couple of these, but it looks like this is a 10 of cups. This is a 10 of pentacles here, right here. The blossoming abundance is that empress card with the nine of pentacles. <laughs> you know, we have king and queen of cups here. So in the fields, oh my goodness. <laughs> Your patience has paid off here, Aquarius, okay? Look at this beautiful energy. All right, um, I'm going to clarify a couple of these, but before I do that, let me get a message for Aquarius here when it comes to this love. All of it, all of it, with the help of your angels and your spirit guides, you're surrounded by them here with these orbs, okay? Angel of balance right there. We have Archangel, we have the angel of love here. You're surrounded by angels and spirit guides guiding you and protecting you and keeping you safe. Archangel Raphael, uh, the healer, the divine physician, you are a healer. So Archangel Raphael is helping you to heal a uh, mind, body, soul, spirit, everything physical and emotional and spiritual ailments within you, uh, helping you to ground here, working on your root chakra because so that you can step into your healer, right? A uh, purpose that you are already in, in for a lot of you guys. Okay. You're already in alignment with that. For some of you guys, that's the path. That's why Archangel Raphael is here helping you to heal so you can heal others. You are a light worker, an earth angel. You are sacred. We keep seeing that in the readings. That, that energy keeps coming. Yeah, you're in better energy. You're in better spirits. You're playful. Okay. Childlike because you're you've been healing your heart. And that's the heart, right? Chakra is playfulness. Also, Leo season is playfulness. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. You are manifesting miracles. Your dream life, okay? That's what it's looking like here. Yes, it's been a long journey. But everything that you have been working, the, the seeds that you planted in the past, which, which is what I saw with the victory card, the seeds that you planted in the past is coming to fruition for you, okay? Um, in every area of your life and, and the seeds that you planted in the past has everything to do with the healing work that you've been doing. You've been investing so much in, in yourself, your value went up. So of course you're in the vibration of abundance. You're feeling good. You're feeling better. You're feeling whole. You're feeling complete. Okay. Um, also I'm getting because you did so much work and you put a lot of work into yourself, uh, your value went up as well. Okay, because anything that we put a, spend a lot of time, energy, and effort into, we value it. So when you value yourself, other people are going to value you. When you love and accept yourself, other people are going to love and accept you. It's it's a it's what the law of attraction, right? Like attracts like. So you're you're living as if you have been living as if it's already here. It's already yours because you feel whole and complete already on your own. This is, if that's not how you're feeling, this may not be your message today. But it doesn't mean that you're not going to get there, right? If you do the work, if you, uh, you know, do whatever healing work that your soul and your spirit and your angels is guiding you towards the path here towards more balance, right? So you can still claim this message. Um, again, it's requiring some patience here still for this to fully manifest, but this is in the energy and it always manifests first. It always manifests first in, in the 5D and the energy before it grounds, okay? Uh, that's what I meant to say. It shows up energetically first before it grounds. But you're very close. Look at that. Ah, oh, I just said that. You see? I just said that. Um, 
Thank you, Spirit, for confirming. I said that in the beginning, before I started pulling cards. I said, when it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. There is no bad or good. <laughs> there is no right or wrong. So what we perceive is what's going on inside of us, okay? Uh, every choice we make expands your understanding of life and love. So, um, and then we have here criticizing one another would only lead to further unhappiness. So this is unconditional love. The angels of love are helping you to open your heart. Love and accept each other as you are in your relationship would, would magically transform. So if we're perceiving something as wrong or, as, or, or bad or good, then, you know, there is, there's, that's a message in itself, uh, a mirroring that's being mirrored, that's being mirrored to you right? That there is, uh, some self-acceptance that self-forgiveness is self-acceptance affirmations and healing work, chakra work that, that, you know, you're being guided to, um, invited and guided and encouraged to look at. Okay. So we have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Uh, you do deserve to have all that your heart truly desires. Okay. You're already living in the energy of being grateful here for all of otherwise this wouldn't be here in the energy, right? So give thanks for the, for the loves, you know, for the blessings of love that's already here, not soon to come your way. We're living as if it's already here. Um, know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires desires. I was going to say something and then it's, it slipped me, but I guess it'll come back if it's meant to come back. I'm going to do another reading, um, because that's what I'm guided to do. This was a kind of an impromptu, uh, and I'm so glad I did because I'm so glad I did this reading because look at this message. <laughs> and that, that might be the title. Um, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. So we are shifting out of one cycle right now and moving into a new one. So I feels like with this patience and this journey here, you're on this journey. It's like, enjoy the journey You're on this voyage of the heart feels like the journey towards true love to align with true love by becoming true love yourself. Okay. Um, uh, life is a series. Okay. I just heard spirit say there's no such thing as good or bad, but there is such a thing as bad behavior. That's what I heard spirits say. There's such a thing as bad behavior. That doesn't make the person good or bad, <laughs> you know, uh, poor behavior, poor choices. Right. And, um, and lessons that we learn from those choices. Yes. That's what I heard. Uh, okay. Spirit, let me finish this message here. When we res. <laughs> Yeah, when Mercury's in shadow period and or and then goes retrograde, that's when uh the messages are very active. Okay, very active. They they come a lot. It's a lot. Sometimes um I, I already went to the gym and grounded my energy today, but I'm gonna go ground some more because um we're up there. We're up there. We're, we're up there with spirit, we're up there with the angels, right? So we have life as a series of shift of constantly shifting cycle. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. I feel like you are in the flow and you are going with the flow. Spirit said, just go with the flow of what's going on. Ride the wave. You'll be surprised uh, where it's going to lead. Okay. So, so much blessings coming into your life. Um, claim this, right? <laughs> Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come. You, I'm so glad I did this reading. Holy. One more here for Aquarius. Twin flames, your passion. Holy. Okay. Twin flame, your, your uh, passion ignites here. That's this matchy, matchy, match. Another magical reading. I'm so, another magical reading. I'm so glad I did this reading. Um, manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to come a, a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Trust your heart. Look, you're being guided here, okay? Uh, right here, angel of love is guiding you. Archangel Raphael is the heart chakra angel guiding you as well. Your heart is leading the way towards what you want wants you, okay? <laughs> Who you want and what you want wants you, Aquarius. Um, and yes, the soulmate twin flame of yours. They have romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. Yeah, the angel of love is here. Look at this. This person is in love with you, Aquarius, okay? Who you love loves you back. 
I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. Who you love loves you back. Very much so. Your soulmate, this is this is what spirit really wants you to feel, understand, believe, absorb, <laughs> accept. Uh, there's no separation in these kinds of spiritual connections here. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So it feels like you are, you, you really do know this because it feels like you know this because you can feel them. You can feel them really strongly um, in your energy. So that's how you know they're not gone. They haven't gone anywhere. You can feel them in your heart. You can see them in your dreams, uh, hear them in your dreams. You can see signs and synchronicities, reminders of them. But most importantly, you feel them in your heart. That's how you know they're right there with you, right? And they're going out with this patience here. They're going to arrive to you in person if they are not already there. For some of you guys, they're already there. They're going to arrive for you in person here. And the, this dream of yours, this miracle that you're manifesting, right, is going to ground for you here in the physical uh, in time, right? Patience here. Uh, when the timing is right, okay, for this to manifest for you. But just know that you already know that this is already yours, that this is already here. And um, I'm not even going to call this an August reading. It, but I, again, this this we're in August already. So this is the energy for right now. Um, this is the energy for Leo season here. And uh, we're approaching the new moon in Leo. We are in this uh, Lionsgate portal. And uh, it is a magical time right now. So uh, let's enjoy the magic, right? Go with the flow here of what's going on in your life. Trust and have faith. And uh, that everything, this beautiful life here, this dream life, this miracle, the miracles that you're manifesting is coming to fruition for you. Wow. I'm here for this energy. <laughs> claim, claim, claim. I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. And uh, I love you. God bless you. And namaste. Thank you for your beautiful comments. And thank you for, you know, if this resonates, if you like to claim this, uh, thank you for clicking like. It really does help. God bless you. And namaste. Mm -hmm. Much love, family.